Hi guys and welcome to Tech Based. Today we're going to talk about the latest Windows 11 update for the main release, which is Windows 11 build 22K348. So as I've said, this is the latest build for the main release of Windows 11, not for the Windows Insider program. And in this video, we're going to go through some of the most important things added and important changes that were applied to this version. So if you are on the main release of Windows 11, you know what comes if you update to this build. Most likely you will be automatically updated to this build if you go into settings and then Windows update. We're going to see that the Windows update program will automatically check for updates and you'll be able to install this build if you are on the main release as I've said. But before talking about the build, a message from our video sponsor. This video is sponsored by copkeys.com. Copkeys is an official platform selling official Microsoft keys, game keys for Steam, Origin and PlayStation. They now have a great Black Friday offer for the Windows 10 Pro license key. You can use the coupon code TB65 for a 65% discount on the Windows 10 license. After you apply the coupon, the price will be only $15. To activate the license, go into settings and activation. Click on change product key, paste the license, and in a few seconds, your Windows will be activated. You can use this license to upgrade or to activate Windows 11 also. Check out copkeys.com at the link below and use the promo code TB65 for a 65% discount. So let's begin talking about this build, what has changed, what is new. First of all, Microsoft improved the animation performance of the icons from the taskbar. A lot of users complained that the icons from the taskbar sometimes um, had input lag or they were delayed. I'm referring to their animation. So that is now improved. The performance of those animations is improved. And of course, you can see that better if you enable other items that have animated icons for example, the task view, the widgets, and also the Microsoft Teams chat. In this build, some issues that affected the volume control for certain Bluetooth audio devices is fixed. So if you had a Bluetooth device and, and the volume control was not working, well, in this build, that should be fixed. Also, an issue that caused the file explorer to stop working after you close a file explorer window. For example, if you have multiple windows and you close one, sometimes the file explorer or even the explorer.exe would crash. Now this is fixed in this build. Also, an issue that caused flickering when you hover over the taskbar icons was fixed. That is a really nice change and a good fix. Also, some improvements were done regarding the Alt Plus tab menu. They improved the visibility of the keyboard focus. If you are in a certain window, you can see now better which screen you are on or which screen you are about to select. Printers should also be fixed. There were issues that caused certain devices to report that they don't detect a printer after you plugged it in. So that is also fixed. Also an issue that caused temporary loss of audio on your device that is also fixed and this is really good. Updates were also made to certain fonts that you use on your operating system. Their visibility was fixed. If they didn't display correctly, that could happen to certain fonts. And now in this build, this is fixed. In this build, finally, the fluent emojis are here. So you can access it using the Windows Plus point combination on your keyboard. You will see that now the fluent emojis are here. And also this includes support for emoji 13.1, which updates the emoji dictionary as the ability to search for emoji in all supported languages and also updates the emoji and more panel so you can enter emojis in your applications. This build also contains a lot of fixes regarding some memory leaks. Windows 11 since the start uh, was known for its memory leaks issues. So in this build, you will see that those problems should be fixed. For example, a memory leak in ctfemon.exe that that Windows process was also addressed. And also certain bugs regarding the taskbar and USB devices were also addressed. So this build should be more stable than the previous one, in my opinion. And I uh, strongly recommend you to go into Windows Update and make sure you install this new build because it fixes a lot of viewer issues. If you want to see the whole list of fixes and changes, because of course I didn't talk about all of them because there are many, you're going to have an article down below in the description where you can see the whole list of fixes that were applied in this build, including info on how to install if you don't know that and other stuff. If you like this video, don't forget to leave a like down below and also subscribe to the tech base channel with the notification bell activated so that you won't miss any future uploads like this one. I was Emmanuel from tech base. Until next time, have a nice day.